Hi guys, it's Debbie with Debbie J's Crafting Corner. Today we're gonna to be making a light up card that fixes everything. today I'm going to be using the Crafty Pals stamp set from Pink and Main. It's got all these cute little critters and crafty supplies. Love that. So I'm going to be using, well I think actually I'm going to do this one with the little unicorn holding the little jar of glitter. I think that is fabulous. Also going to be using a couple of things from Pear Blossom Press. I'm going to be using some twinkle lights and the little stamp set I will look up the name. I will remember the name. I'm sorry, Amanda. I keep forgetting. I just love this. Anyway, it's got all of the different uh, messages that you'll want to put on your card to say whether or not to push, pull, press, all the things so that they know what to do with your interactive card. Now for the twinkle lights, I've actually got two sets. This was the one that I got most recently. And then I've also got this one that was kind of still in the prototype state, which is one of the first ones that she sent out. And since I only had one, I have not used it yet. So I'm going to show you kind of the difference between the two first and I'm going to actually be using the older one so that it's used and it's out of my stash. You do need to use what's in your stash, right? So the way that they come, this is actually a three pack and they just break apart just like the regular um, easy lights do and you have a battery. So I've already got one in there. So we've got the battery here. It's slid in and you just press the button and the lights twinkle. They automatically start being offset, so they're not gonna light up at the same time. The easy light is very similar. The mechanism looks the same, but the lights all light up at the same time. So this one, because it's the twinkle lights, it does everything separate. Now for the original one that I had, it starts off together. I'll go ahead and press the button and then they start getting out of sync. So that is the biggest difference between the original design and the updated one. Before we get started on doing our mechanism, we need to create our little scene. So I'm just gonna use, actually I'm only gonna use these two stamps this time. There's a lot of fun things in here, but I really like that little jar of glitter and think that that would look really, really cute lit up. I'm going to start off by stamping it in some VersaFine Claire. This is Nocturne, so it's going to be that nice dark black ink. Next, I'm going to heat emboss this in clear ink, so it's going to look like um, black embossing. So I've got the mask down. Um, but these little bits are going to be too small, really, for me to try to cut out. Uh, actually, I did try cutting them out and I had too much trouble. So what I'm going to try instead is using an embossing pen. This one is a letterate pen from Ranger. And I'm going to just color inside each of my little pieces of glitter here. So inside the moon and the stars and those little circles. And then we're going to emboss over the top. So and this time I'm going to try out, because I haven't used it, some snowflake tinsel, just because it'll be a little bit more glittery. And I'm probably going to add more of this to the card after we get done with the coloring. Oops, poured out quite a bit of that. So now I'm going to come in with some blue ink. This is Simon Hurley, Remember Me and just come in around our image there. I'm gonna try not to go too heavy, um, to start anyway, because I always wind up going heavy handed. I don't really want to lift any of my masks. So let's go ahead and lift up that mask. And I think that looks super cute. Now I'm gonna add a little bit more color into the glass, yeah, our, our glass glitter jar and color up our little unicorn.
So this is actually my second panel. That's the one that I've got all colored up here nice. Um, I made a mistake on the first one and that's fine. But I just thought of something and this is something I probably should have done to start off with. It would make everything for assembling the card easier since I know kind of where I want them, want the lights to be in relation to my image. If I had a template, yes, behind it, that would help me get everything lined up perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm using a light box here. This is just a cheap one. I think I got it off of Amazon a long time ago, and I don't even remember now what it was for. So I'm just putting my, my dummy, the one that's not going to be showing on front. And then I'm going to put my colored one over the top, and I'm going to just tape it in place. Okay, so that's going to give me a template there. So now that I have it lined up, I'm going to trim this other panel down and that way I can pretty much just make this entire piece and then mount it all onto a card base and then everything will be lined up just right. So I'm going to place my little lights. We're just going to have three of them that are going to light up, but I'm going to place them on the template. Okay, so I'm going to have one, I think, for this light over here. I'm just going to tape this, the wires down. I have another one down here at the bottom. And then I need to place my third light. And I think I'll have him about midway. Okay, and then I'm going to place my other card over the top just to kind of test. That looks cute. Okay, great. Now I can start adding some um, foam to the back of my card. I will be using the world's best foam tape from Pear Blossom Press. This stuff is absolutely fabulous. And I use it pretty much just for either shakers or for light up cards. This is the perfect thickness. First off, it's the perfect thickness for our lights. It's basically the same thickness as our little mechanism here. So perfect hiding place. And it is, um, the release paper comes off super easy, but it's also repositionable so that if you mess up, you can go back and fix it. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make myself a, a light box, a basically a, a space that I want it to actually be around. I want it to really be basically just the jar. So I'm trimming down some tape to go right around that so that I'm going to be blocking the light going out further from it. And curving it a little bit there. It's easier to curve it if you have it, um, have the release paper taken off, but I didn't do that this time. Okay, we'll go there. And this is actually optional. I'm doing this because I discovered that I really like the way that it looks when it's glowing in just that one area. Did that on a couple of other cards and I absolutely love the effect. So that is kind of where I'm going with this. And like I said, you can pick it up and reposition it. So, okay, so now I've just got a, a box right around where that image is. Perfect. So now I need to decide where do I want to put my light? Where do I want it to, where do I want the button, you know? So I think I want it to be so that you can remove the battery if you want to. So I'm going to do, I think I'm just going to put it down here in the corner and that way they can remove the battery if they need to down the side here. So let's go ahead and adhere that down. I'm going to use some double sided tape for that. And again, the button, the battery comes out this side. So we're going to go ahead and just adhere that right down here. The button over here in the corner. And then we can twist our wires and tape them down so they'll be up and out of the way. Okay, now we need to add more foam tape to the rest of it so that it isn't you know, we don't have any saggy bits. This is basically the way you would normally for a, if for any type of a card that you wanted to add foam to. Now 
There we go. Yeah, I think I might actually have to poke a couple of holes in there so that the light comes out a little bit better. So I'm gonna just poke a little hole there. And then here, basically going to the same stars that I attached it to there. And that's gonna let a little bit more light come through. There we go. Now you can see it a little bit better. Wait, before I do that, I need a couple more things that I almost forgot about. We need to have a place for them to push the button and we need a sentiment. So I need that here. So I'm gonna use one of the stamps out of the Pear Blossom Press set. And the one I like the best is this one that's got a little bit of a script that says press here. That's my favorite. Put a little embossing powder over that to seal that. Sentiment I want to use is glitter fixes everything. I added a sentiment that says glitter fixes everything in black. I'm sorry, in Nocturne vs. <laughs> Fine Claire ink and heat embossed it just like I did the rest of the image there. And I'm going to go ahead and add this panel down onto the rest of our mechanism, taking off all of the release paper, and then just line everything up. And I think I got a little bit crooked, so we're going to take it back off. And this is, again, repositionable, so it does not rip your cardstock. So let's give that another try. Lining it up on the long end, making sure everything is square at that edge. There we go, and then let's test. <laughs> and that looks so cute. Okay, now this is ready for us to put it onto a card base. I'm just gonna adhere this down onto a top folding blue card base, leaving that quarter inch all the way around. And I'm going to say <laughs> that is done. I could add some additional bling and that was my initial thought was to add some more glitter, but I do kind of like the way that that little bit of glitter is there and I do love those lights and I think that just completes the card perfect. Let's take a look at it with it in the dark. Just a second. Okay, so now the lights are off and let's take a look. Isn't that just too stinking cute? <laughs> 